Hey you guys, welcome to our full body bar workout today. For equipment, we will be using a mat, a set of light hand weights. I'm using three pounds. You can go a little bit heavier or a little bit lighter. And we'll also be using a bar so you can use a kitchen counter or the back of a chair. Before we begin, I wanna give a shout out to my online fitness studio, fitbycoachkel.com. This is a website with a monthly subscription where you can join in and get access to a full library of workouts to do anytime, any place. You can also cancel anytime and cancellation is free, but I would love for you guys to come try it out for at least a month, see and feel the difference in your body. We of course have a lot of bar workouts. We have ballet and dance inspired workouts, some boot camp strength training, body sculpting. We even have a booty program and lots of stretching videos. Again, that's fitbycoachkel.com. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with warm up. We're gonna stand with the feet together, roll the shoulders down and back away from the ears, bend the knees, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, arms up, exhale, down, inhale, up, and down, standing up nice and tall. We're just waking up that upper body. Nice bend in the knees as you inhale, Really press those shoulders down away from the ears. Two more. Last time, take it up and down, adding on. Inhale, lift. Exhale, flat back forward to the floor. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Again, inhale up. Flat back forward. Roll up four, three, two, one, inhale up, flat back, roll it up, scoop the belly, navel pulls toward the spine. A couple more right here, inhale, lift, big stretch forward, roll it up. Last time, take it up, big stretch, and we're gonna roll it up. Arms come to first position. Open the toes. Turn it out and in. Out and in. Weight stays in your heels. Squeeze your booty as you open the toes out to the side. Getting into that lower body. Four more. Three, two, hold a turnout. Hands come to heart. Plie and stretch. Plie and stretch. So we're bending the knees into a wide diamond shape and you're just lifting the left heel and the right. Don't stick your butt out, don't drop your chest, stay lifted tall through that spine. Down and up, down and up. Adding on, it goes down, up, down and up. Slide to second, back to first, second to first. Plie. Plie to the left, take it down, up, down, up again, two plies, press the knees out to the side, wide legs right here, again, plie, plie, out and in, out and in. Good, and as we get warmer, we're gonna get deeper into those thighs, get a little bit closer to the ground in those big plies. Last time right here, get a little bit lower in those thighs. Hold your first position here, pulse it down, two, three, four, knees staying in line with the toes, press the knees back, neutral pelvis, seven, six, five, four, three, two, keep the pulses if you can lift the heels right here. Good, down, two, three, four, let's go eight more. Nice, four, three, two, one, lower the heels down. Go ahead and take the legs wide, toes turn out. Small bend in the knees, hands come behind the head. You're gonna reach your left arm down and up, down and up. It's a little side crunch. Don't let your shoulders twist. You wanna keep them square to the front. Keep your navel pulled toward your spine. Four more, down, up, three, two, 
and one. Adding on, reach it down and up. Now you twist hand toward that knee. Down, up, twist and lift. Down, up, reach. Using the abs, using that core as we twist. Straight spine. Let's do two more. Last time. Good, deepen that plie all the way down. Squeeze it up. Soften in the knees, other side. Right arm reaches down and up. Down and up. Again, don't twist the shoulders. Keep them square to the front. Little side crunch, working the sides of the abs. Four, three, press the knees back, two, and one, adding on right here. Reach it down, up, twist, center. Down, up, twist, and center. Keep that navel pulled toward the spine. Good, a few more right here. Stand up tall, shoulders down, chest up. Two more. Last time. Deepen that plie all the way down and up. And hands come to heart right here. Pulse it down. Two, three, four. Press the knees back. Eight more counts. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stretch it up here, toes point forward, inhale, arms up, exhale, flat back forward. Hold the stretch right here. Pull your chest toward your thighs. Let's go ahead and bend the knees. Stretch, bend, and stretch. Hopefully you guys are feeling nice and warm. And last bend, and stretch, roll it up through the spine. Excellent job, you guys. Go ahead and grab those weights. We're gonna do a little bit of upper body. Again, I'm using three pound weights. You can go a little bit lighter with two pounds if you want to. Go ahead and stand with the feet together. Roll the shoulders down and back away from the ears. We're gonna soften the knees, lean forward, hips back, and start with a narrow row. So you pull the weights in towards your sides. Elbows go straight back behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you pull the elbows back. Good, pull two, three, and four. Nice straight back, make sure you're not rounding it out. Let's add on, so you pull it back, and then arms open out to the side. Pull it back, and open. You're just lifting those arms up to shoulder height, palms stay facing down toward the floor as you lift. Squeeze, squeeze. Hopefully you guys are starting to feel this in your back. Keep your abs engaged the whole time. So good, keep it going. Let's go four more. Three, two, keep squeezing that back. Last time, hold the elbows back right here and we pulse two, three, four, little squeezes. Don't drop the chest, keep it nice and open. Four, three, two, and one. Take it down, press up. Down, press up. As you lower the weights, bend the knees and push your butt back so it's a little hip hinge. Strong press up, keep the shoulders down away from the ears the whole time. Three more, two, and one. Hold it up right here, palms come together, drop it down and up, down and up. Keep the elbows as close to your head as you can. Keep the elbows pressed back, working the triceps back of the arm. Adding on, take it down and up, elbows in, 
and press. Down and up, elbows pulling towards your sides. As you drop the elbows, rotate the palms toward the front. Getting into the shoulders. Good, down, up, drop, and press. Down, up, drop, and press. Last time right here. Now we're just gonna press down and up. Drop and lift, drop and lift. Use control, don't crunch back, stand up nice and tall. Three, two, one. Hold the elbows in, we're gonna bicep curl. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Palms are facing the front. Try to keep the elbows in the same spot the whole time. Keep that core engaged. Four more, three, two, and one, lower halfway. Drop it down and up, down and up. Good, let's go four more, three, two, and one. Hold it down right here, turn the palms up, little pulses, two, three, four. Again, leaving the elbows in the same spot the whole time. Just an inch or two up and down. Four, three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and bring those weights in towards your chest, palms towards each other, soften the knees, push your butt back. We have little tricep kickbacks right here. Out and in, out, and in. So for these, keep a flat back and you want to get the weights up behind you as you straighten that arm. Squeeze up and up. Nice, you guys. Four more. Three, two, hold it back, palms toward the ceiling, pulse it up. Two, three and four. Keep that back nice and straight. Straight arms. Good. Get those weights up. Two, three, four. Almost there. Four, three. Higher. Two, one. Lower down with control. Excellent job, you guys. Go ahead and drop those weights. We are going to head onto the mat. And we're going to do a little bit of planking and some booty work right here. So we're gonna start on all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Roll your shoulders down and back. And we're gonna go ahead and pull your navel toward your spine, step back into a plank position. We want a straight line through the body. We're gonna lift the hips up to downward dog. It goes up and down. Hips go up and down. Come back to a solid plank position every time. In that downward dog, get your hips up high. Good, last one like this. Now we're gonna add on. Hips go up to downward dog. As you come into the plank, drop the right knee down to the floor. Take it up, right knee down. Lift it up and down. Same knee touches to the floor every time. Keep the shoulders pressing down away from the ears. Lift your chest up and away from the mat. One more just like this. We're gonna add a leg lift. So you tap your knee, left leg lift it up to arabesque, tap the toes, downward dog. Again, right knee down, left leg up, tap the toes, downward dog. Knee down and lift. Tap, hips up, drop, lift. Tap, hips up. Good, are you keeping those abs engaged? Squeeze the booty every time you lift that leg up. Right here, squeeze. Last time, up and down. Now you're gonna hold that leg up behind you, turn the kneecap out to the side and tap the toe. Down and up, down and up. Straight leg right behind you. 
Squeeze that booty. Again, every time you lift the leg, watch your hips, make sure they're not rocking forward and back. Keep them as still as you can. Adding on, it goes down, up, bend the knee and stretch. Down, up, bend and stretch. As you bend the knee, pull your heel towards your opposite shoulder. Keep squeezing that booty. Down, up, bend and stretch. Let's do two more. Last time. Hold your legs straight, pulse it up. Two, three, four, just really small pulses, an inch or two up and down. Four, three, two, hold it here. Right elbow drops underneath your shoulder, tap that toe. It goes down and up, down and up. Same thing, but because you're on your elbow, you'll be able to get that leg up a little bit higher behind you, so you'll have greater range of motion. Keep squeezing that booty. So good, you guys. Two and one, adding on. It goes down, up, bend the knee and stretch. Down, up, bend and stretch. Again, pulling that heel towards your opposite shoulder. Check your posture, shoulders down, chest up, abs in. Beautiful job. Hold it right here, pulse it up. Two, three, four, last move on this side, then you get to take a little rest break. Good, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Lower that knee all the way to the floor. Take your bottom back to your heels in child's pose. Walk your fingertips forward, stretching out your lower back. Quick break before we go into the other side. and go ahead and roll it up through the spine. We're gonna take all of that on the other side. I'm just flipping around so you guys can see a little bit easier. Come back onto all fours, roll the shoulders down and back, and step up into plank. Let's take your downward dog. It goes up and down, back to plank. Take it up and down. Good, high hips, chest up and away from the mat. Keep a straight line through the body, solid plank position. Take it up and down. Good. Adding on, lift the hips, left knee down as you come back into plank. Downward dog, left knee down. Take it up and down, you got it. Three more, just like this. And adding on, drop that knee, lift it up to arabesque, tap the toe, downward dog. Again, take it down, lift, lower, downward dog. Drop that knee, squeeze the booty as you lift up to arabesque. Drop, lift, lower, and up. Good, keep this going. Two more. And last time we're gonna hold it down right here. Lift that leg up. Tap the toe, take it down and up. Squeeze that booty. Again, keeping your hips as still as you can. Turn your kneecap out to the side just slightly so we have a little bit of external rotation from the hips. Adding on, tap, lift, bend the knee and stretch. Down, up, bend and stretch. 
Pull that heel towards the opposite shoulder. Yes, second side right here, booty on fire. Last time right here, hold that leg back, pulse it up, two, three, four. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, higher, three, two, and one. Excellent job. Drop down onto that left elbow, tap that toe, it goes down and up, down and up. Second set right here. We're burning out that booty. Four, three, two, and one. Adding on, it goes down, up, bend that knee. Down, up, in, and out. Good, can you get that leg a centimeter higher behind you? Can you pull your abs in a little bit more? Come on, you got it. Three, push right here. Go two, last time, hold it straight back and pulse it. Take it up, two, three, four, we're so close, stay with me. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, higher, three, two, and one. Yes, you guys, knees down, take your bottom back to child's pose, walk your fingertips forward. Hold the stretch. And roll all the way up through the spine. Excellent job, you guys. We're gonna do one more thing on the mat. So we're gonna flip over, sit onto your bottom, roll all the way back down to the floor. We're gonna do some ab work. Go ahead and take the hands behind the head. Press your lower back into the mat, feet together. I want you to lift your heels up so that you're just balancing on your toes. We're gonna start with a crunch. Take it up and down, up and down. Now in this crunch, you wanna keep your elbows out to the side. Try to get your shoulder blades as high up off the mat as you can. Again, keeping that lower back pressed into the floor. Good, lift and lower, lift and lower. Let's do three more, two, and one. Adding on, you crunch and hold, lift the legs up, tap the toes, and down. Crunch it up, lift, lower, and down. Squeeze the inner thighs so that your legs are touching the whole time. Keep the heels lifted off the floor. You're just tapping those toes to the ground. And keep your crunch up nice and high. Every time you lift the legs up, I want you to feel it in your lower abs. Again, keeping that back pressed into the mat. Two. Last time, hold the legs up, take your toes up toward the ceiling. You're gonna drop your leg down, twist knee to opposite elbow, push it back out, and lift other side drop it down knee to opposite elbow push it out and lift it goes down twist out and up drop twist push it out and up keep your crunch the entire time if you can really feeling the sides of the abs as you twist getting the obliques You have four more, stay with me. Come on, keep that crunch. Drop that leg as close to the mat as you can. Two more. Yes, last time. Good, keep the crunch, hold it up right here. Extend the arms and then lower the head down, palms by your sides. From here, you're gonna tap the toes to the mat and lift your legs up, hips press up toward the ceiling, reverse crunch. Take it down, hips up, and down, hips up. 
Good, lower abs right here. Try to tap your toes on the mat as far away from your butt as you can. Good, down and up, down and up. Good, can you get those hips up a little bit higher? Come on, you got it. You are almost there, four more. Three, two, last one. Yes, and rest. Pull the knees in towards your chest, rock your hips side to side. All right, we're gonna take a really quick stretch for the abs, so go ahead and rock on up to a sit. Come on to all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna drop your stomach down toward the floor, lift the tailbone and the chest up. Then arch the other way, middle back up toward the ceiling. One more time, reverse, drop the stomach down, tailbone, chest up. And rest, bottom to your heels. So good, you guys, we're gonna head over to the bar. Again, you can use a kitchen counter or the back of a chair. So we're gonna start with one side to the bar. Step away from the bar and open your toes out into a small first position, heels together. We're gonna take that outside leg into a curtsy lunge. So you're gonna cross that leg behind you, send your back knee down toward the floor. I'm just turning to demonstrate so you guys can see. So you really cross that leg behind. Make sure your back knee is not stretching. You wanna bend that knee, send it down toward the floor, and it's up to you how low you go, okay? All right, let's get you set up. Stand away from the bar, first position, cross that leg behind. We're gonna take your curtsy lunge. Lift the arm up and down. Arm goes up and down. Just circling the arm, drop that knee down and up to the floor. If you wanna make this easier, just keep your hips up a little bit higher. You don't have to go all the way down into that full lunge, but do try to push yourself. See how low you can go. Down and up, down and up. Shoulders down, we want really nice posture here. You're gonna feel that heart rate start to get up a little bit. Adding on right here, it goes down, two, three, knee to elbow. Down, two, three, knee to elbow. Good. Small little pulses, an inch or two up and down. Really use the abs to help you lift that knee up. It's like a little side crunch. Right there. Keep your chest open. Nice job, you guys. Two more. Last time. We're gonna reach down, touch the floor, curtsy lunge down. As you lift it up, you're gonna extend that leg out to the side with the kneecap pointing forward. Take it down, touch the floor, extend and lift. Take it down, really lean towards the bar. Your hand comes behind your head. Keep the abs in. It's really important here, you guys, when you extend that leg that that kneecap is pointing towards the front because that's how we're gonna get the side of the booty. You're gonna start to feel the outer thigh working. Booty on fire in a minute. Down and up. Nice control. Keep dropping that back knee down in that curtsy lunge. Last one right here. Hold your extension, elbow resting on the bar, bend the knees, tap it in, and open. Knees fold together and open. Bring the elbow in and open. Good, so you should be feeling this in the core, booty, thighs, really a full body move right here. Good, really twist, pull that elbow in and open the chest. Two more, last time, back to your curtsy, touch the floor, take it down, lean toward the bar, extend. Take it down and up. Again, kneecap points forward as you take the leg out to the side. Really lean toward the bar. Nice, you guys. 
feeling that side booty right here. Two more. And last time, hold it right here, fold, bend the knees, take it in and open. Pull it in and open. Good, you guys. We are almost there on this side. Give me four more. Get that leg up. Three. Come on, you got it. Two. And last time, hold it here. You're gonna tap that toe behind your head. Stand all the way up. Take your arm overhead in fifth position. I'm just turning so you can see. You're gonna brush the leg front, point back. Up and point. Legs are straight. Keep turn out from the hips on both sides. Your leg doesn't have to be high. Try to keep the upper body straight. Don't crunch forward. Good, up and down, up and down. Heart rate up right here. A little higher. Four, three, you got it, two, and one. Rest, so good you guys, step away from the bar. Tuck your chin, roll down through the spine and just hold a little forward fold right here. You can bend one knee at a time, you can bend both knees. We're just stretching out your lower back before we go into the other side. And go ahead and roll on up through the spine. Excellent job, other side right here. Other hand on the bar, take a little step away from the bar. Heels together, toes turned out in a small first position. Cross that outside leg behind into your curtsy position. And here we go. Take it down and up, down and up. Curtsy and lift, just circling the arm. Really nice, beautiful posture here, you guys. Lengthening through the spine. Let's go four, three, get that back knee low, two, and one. Adding on right here, it goes down, two, three, knee to elbow. Down, two, three, and lift. Small pulses, shoulders down, chest open, wide back. Good, feel the abs as you lift that knee up, little side crunch. So good, you guys, stay with it. Energy up right here. Three more. Two. Last time. Curtsy, reach the hand towards the floor. Take it down, lean toward the bar, extend that leg out to the side. Take it down, up, out, and in. Down, up, out, and in. Kneecap pointing forward as you extend that leg. Really lean toward the bar. Yes, squeeze the side of the booty right there. A few more. Try to get that leg up to hip height. Last time, and hold it right here. Bend both knees, rotate elbow down. Pull it in and open. Take it in and open. Good, little folding motion with the legs. Knees tap together, push it out. Four more, three, two, and one. Curtsy touch the floor. Again, take it down and lift. Down and squeeze.
four more. Really get that knee down in that curtsy lunge. Two. And last one, rest your elbow on the bar. Bend both knees, pull it in and open. In and out. Last time right here, you guys, almost there. I know, booty on fire. Go four more. Three. You got it. Two. And one, hold it right here. Lift the chest, tap the toe behind the head. Arm goes up, we have your bot maz right here. Brush up, point back. Up and back. Squeeze. Upper body stays straight and lifted, nice and tall. We are almost there, you guys. Power through. Let's go eight more. Chest up. Can you get that leg a centimeter higher? Four. Three, yes, two, and one. Release, excellent job you guys. Go ahead and take your forward fold right here, stretching out your lower back. Pull the chest towards your thighs. Great class today you guys, make sure you stretch. I'll link my full body stretching video for you below. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for working out with me and I'll see you guys next time.